What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Last thing a body boy's legs have started to look better. And he is 10 weeks old. So he's gonna have to make sure that he keeps them full while dodging down to contest ready state. I still think Blessing would have a more complete look if he had more hamstrings. But that is still a work in progress. If we look at the side chest pose, that is a very impressive pose from Blessing. So far, he has been prepping himself and looks like it is going great. The condition looks good for 10 weeks out. But in the end, it all comes down to peaking on that show day. Because if you guys remember, the blessing we saw at Indie Pro last year versus the blessing we saw at the Olympia, they were totally different bodybuilders. Just because he was peaked 100% at the Indie Pro and the Neo Pro as well. And for that reason, the discrepancy between his upper half and lower half, that was hardly noticeable. But the thing is, nothing good can be said about the Olympia package. So Blessing is doing two shows back to back. So we will see how he does against some really tough competition compared to last year in the form of Hunter Labrada and Andrew Jagd. And I'm sure that the Blessing we are gonna see this year is gonna be a better version of him than Indy and the New York Pro from last year. So the fans were hell excited about two men's Open Pro debuts this year. Carlos Thomas Jr. and Justin Shear. Unfortunately, Carlos didn't make it to the stage because of a health concern. But Justin Shear is getting ready nicely for his Open Pro debut at Chicago Pro this year. Where he is gonna go up against Blessing Avodibu as of right now. Both these guys took a lot of time after they turned pro in 2021 to get ready for the men's open bodybuilding. And it took Justin more than one and a half years to finally be confident enough to jump into a pro show. You guys can see his proportions are already looking wild. The progress that this guy made from 2019 to 2021. That is unbelievable. The amount of muscle mass he packed in just two short years without blowing up his waistline. That was commendable. So looking at the prep pictures when he was running for his pro card, you can see if he adds 5 to 7 pounds on that frame with that kind of condition. I'm gonna say he can give Blessing a run for his money at Chicago Pro. Plus, there is hardly any chance of him missing his peak. His body is fresh. He is being coached by Matt Jensen, who is one of the best in the industry right now. So it is gonna be a debut to watch out for. How many of you guys remember Rich Piana's 8 hours long arms workout that he did 7 years ago? So was it counterproductive to growth? Can you recover from that type of workout? If you can, how long does that take? You can debate that in the comments. But apparently, Urs, the third best classic physique guy in the world, decided to do the 8 hours long arms workout. And I'm gonna say that kinda makes sense for him. Because his arms are the only thing that are holding him back as of right now. And he really wants to grow them. So it is not surprising that Urs decided to do something out of the box. So he has decided to go full blown in the off season. And this approach has been appreciated by all his fans. Because the thing is he has stayed shredded for way too long. So it is finally time for him to utilize those remaining 5 pounds. Hit that classic physique weight cap. And bring a much more complete package at this year's Mr. Olympia. So hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.